Hey guys, Norman McGregor on Niles of Hidegui for Island Adventure. All right, we're January and uh, winter's here. This is Hidegui in the winter. We don't have any snow. Um, unfortunately, the rest of looks like North America is in a either a blizzard or freezing temperatures. But even so, it's it's a little chilly here. Uh, we're probably about four above. But anyways, too cold for growing outside and. Uh, Trying to get fresh uh, produce at this time of year is a little difficult everywhere. And if you can get it, the price of it is skyrocketing. But my good friend Belinda sent over a really interesting product for Christmas this year. And uh, we're going to give it a try and uh, see how it works. All right, guys. So this is the kitchen crop, and it is a vertical sprouting kit. Now, according to the manual, it says you can grow sprouts in two to four days, but it also clarifies that's in the summer. In the winter, they say about a week, maybe, or ten days. So what is this thing? Well, let's take a look. This is a four-unit stack tray, and basically, they come apart, and in the bottom, is a big mesh and it's full of little tiny holes that allow water to run through it but hold seeds in here so basically you can grow basically four different kinds of sprouts or you could grow four batches of the same one so basically you put the seeds in the tray you add two cups of water let it all run through do that twice a day morning and night and in a few days, we're going to have sprouts. So let's take a look and see how it works. All right, guys. So the thing what we've got to do is we've got to decide and pre-soak the seeds that we're going to be putting in each of the four trays. In the first tray, I've got my spring salad mix. And I've got a bowl of two teaspoons in water so they're going to be nice and pre-soaked for tomorrow. The second tray I've got my sandwich booster mix and again I've got the bowl two teaspoons uh, pre-soaking. This one I've got the broccoli again pre-soaking and I've got the alfalfa pre-soaking. So tomorrow we're going to be able to take them and add them to the sprouter. So we'll come back then. Alright guys, so the seeds have been soaking overnight and now we're going to get these babies planted into the kitchen crop vertical sprouter. What I've done is I've numbered the sprouter bins, one, two, three, four, because what we're going to do is we're going to put seeds in each one of these, four different kinds, and every day when you water them you're supposed to rotate so the top one goes to the bottom and then the next day you keep whatever one's on top you move it to the bottom so they always get uh, good sunlight. Okay, so I've also numbered the seeds, the sprouts, uh, alfalfa, are going to be number one, the broccoli sprouts are number two, the sandwich booster mix is number three, and the spring salad mix is number four. And I'm going to put those in the corresponding bins and uh, We'll see how they go from there. All right guys, so I got the seeds in the tray and you can see they're, they're spread out pretty good as we look through, but some are bunched up. But what'll happen when we add the water, they'll start to smooth out. So now what I've done is I've got my cup, two cups of rainwater from outside and I'm just gonna pour this all over the seeds. Spread a nice big circle. And the seeds, you can see, they spread around quite nicely. So, there we go. The top goes on just loosely, like so. 
so you don't snap it down because they need air. And that's it. We're done for the day. We do this twice a day. Add the water. And remember to take the top tray, put it on the bottom next time, move them all up. Next day, take this one off. It goes to the bottom, moves up. And again, all the way, keep recycling them. So every day they all get nice light. And let's go from there and see what happens in the next few days. Alright guys, so it's been a week now that the uh, sprouts have been growing in the Kitchen Crop Vertical Sprouting Kit. And uh, let's take a look what we've got here. Take the lid off and look at these, look at these sprouts. Okay, so this is tray number three. And the one that I did was number three was the Sandwich booster mix. Okay, so this is tray number three. Those look amazing. Isn't that great? Okay, so that's three. This is number four. And four is the spring salad mix. And this one, so, oh yeah, these look amazing. Ooh, look at them, aren't they? Those look lovely. Okay, so we got that one. Now, one, this is tray one. And I believe that's the alfalfa. Let's check that. Yeah, that is the alfalfa seeds. Look at those. Those, those are terrific. Talk about yummy, okay. And the last one, which is number two, is broccoli sprouts. These are broccoli sprouts. Oh, they look like little broccoli. How cool is that? And they're big. Look how big these guys are. Broccoli, alfalfa, the sandwich booster kit. That's going to be perfect in a sandwich. Mm. I think that's going to be on lunch tomorrow. And number four is the spring salad mix. Alright guys, so that is exactly seven days from seed planting to fully ready to eat. All right guys, so we're gonna get the uh, sprouts ready to eat, but what we gotta do first is we gotta get rid of what's called the hulls. If we look inside the container, you can see way down in the bottom, there's all these little brown things. These are basically what they are. These are the outer shell from the seed. So when the plant grows, the seed splits and all these hulls come off. And if you leave them in there, when you want to eat your sprouts, they're going to make the sprouts kind of taste like mud because basically what these things are discarded shells and uh, they turn into dirt. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean those out. So what I've done is I've got the sink partially filled with cold water. I'm going to take the tray and I'm going to turn it upside down and you'll see the sprouts are all stuck to the inside. They've latched onto the bottom of the tray pretty good and I'm just going to submerge this in the water totally and all of a sudden you're going to see we've got brown things floating around. All right guys, and after a few minutes of rinsing, you'll see all the hulls are now in the bottom of the sink and can go down your drain. Easy super way of uh, cleaning your sprouts. All right guys, so once you've got them dehulled and cleaned, you can take your broccoli sprouts and you can easily just put them into a container. I've got a old yogurt container that I've cleaned out. These can go in here now. And these go in your fridge for up to two weeks. And they are fresh as can be. Okay, make sure when you put the lid on 
you just set the lid on because sprouts have to breathe and uh, you don't want to take the lid or they'll die on you. Put them in there and again up to two weeks you're good to go. And there we go guys the sprouts are washed and packaged and ready to go in the fridge and they will last up to two weeks. Alright guys so that's the kitchen crop sprouting kit. Very cool. Um, and they taste amazing and apparently they're supposed to be really healthy for you so recommend it they grew one week and uh, beautiful beautiful sprouts okay guys remember greater on Niles Adeguay for On Adventure take care